So we have Julian Assange again in the news. And I think that this guy is just being a nuisance. I think that uh, basically this guy doesn't even understand what he's doing. Uh, I mean, he's doing irresponsible things. I mean, uh, you know, even if you don't like somebody, you just can't do stuff like that. You can't go and get a private information, go and hack into the phone or hack into the email and put expose the, the private stuff. I mean, that would be a violation of uh, privacy. And, and publishing America stuff, uh, they considered as a he's a, as an enemy combatant, as a terrorist, and um, you know he's gonna stand charges. So now with this rape allegation, this uh, sexual assault, um, I mean this guy don't understand the process. Now he has one Miss Rose, she is a Queen's Counsel, and now they're attacking the warrant has been invalid because a prosecutor they're saying can't issue a warrant. But this debate is done in Sweden. The prosecutor can also issue, um, you know, you know, uh, um, warrants. But the question would have been, and, and this is the question that the whole deal is about: um, Is it served properly? Um, well, I guess you know whether this person is uh, authorized to do that. Going to be a German question because now that he's guilty or not, he's thinking in terms of I am guilty and I do this and whatever. The issue here is whether, uh, and this is what even the European Court is going to get into, um, basically, um, was it done properly? Um, you know, I'm not sure the protocol that they issue in a warrant, but um, he was served, um, you know, so forth. And, uh, you know, I, I think he's going to have to go sometime, somehow. And, and you see, the deal is that perhaps his supporters are paying all his case fees. And the longer you fight it, the more guilty he looks. I mean, you know, you're innocent until proven guilty, and maybe that's the law universal. I don't know if it's uh, in Europe. It, it doesn't matter whether the, the conflict or not, or public opinion, whatever. The deal is that you can't go to jail unless you're tried and found guilty. And uh, all this kind of thing is going on. It's going to give any juror the impression as if he's trying to hide and trying to avoid uh, facing up to the consequences of his acts. And again, this is a supposedly popular guy supposedly handsome, you know, white and so on, uh, you know, I'm sure, uh, well, he's not married, it seems, uh, you don't want to know what's going on with him, uh, old man like him, not even, you know, having the responsibility of a family and, and all that kind of stuff, I mean, he's generally irresponsible in, the, in his whole behavior here, so, um, the Swedish people are already behind the practice, and they're saying, these are people who could issue or warrant, the court, the judge, prosecutor pays clothes. I mean, he's spending all this money and so forth and just wasting time. Go and, you, you know, he's not going to get a life in prison, I believe. Go and deal with it and, and get over it. Of course, he maybe he's really, really trying to avoid coming to America because, you know, after he's finished um, with that trial, maybe America would even say, well, okay, don't worry to send him, don't worry to put him in jail, send him over here, let me uh, give him life in prison or whatever, or try him or whatever, you know what I mean? So I guess that's what you're really about. And if you were serious, you wouldn't have published those uh, things. And then you keep on doing it more and more like if you just don't care. So this is a responsible guy, and uh, he's going to get responsible sometime. He's going to be forced to you know, sit down quietly and, and, and go over his actions. And uh, uh, it's going to be too late to regret and to, to would have liked to have done it different and all that kind of stuff. So um, Julian Assange, bro, man, you should think before you uh, make that kind of move, man.